everybody say hi, Binks. No one can replace my monkey, but Binks is really good just on his own. Oh man, well, I wanted to share some more stuff about what happened today, but I wound up staying late at work and I am running out the door right now. So I'm on my way to my sister's house to see uh, my sister and my niece and my nephew, and we are gonna go to a Santa Claus parade where Santa, last year, Santa was on a fire truck. He drove around, he waved to kids, and uh, my niece got a real kick out of it. So we're going again this year, and I am wearing this because, uh, frankly, I don't give a damn. And <laughs> I worked very hard today, and this is just how I'm dressing right now. All right. Oh, do you want to tell us about what's going on in here? Okay. So, today, uh, this is a hayloft where Joseph and Mary is, and this is Baby Jesus, and this is the Good Shepherd and Sheep. Uh-huh. This is the people that's coming, and these are the cows. Wonderful. And so, this is where we climb up here, and then this is my pine cone, and this is only where you go. So, and... Oh, yeah. So. Yo! What? Then, whoa! And this is a fairy yeah. up there. Uh huh. And this, this doing that. And then our video is done. This is the maple dye tree, and this is what me and mom draw. And so, this is when we were camping, and this is. Um, I don't know what it is, but, and this is the fire one, and, and a fighter, and this is a colored rainbow. Very cool. And look right by, look over there. Are we ready to see Santa? Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. Let's go right up to the fence. Oh, there's Santa. It's a restaurant I like. It's called Cassetta. And I like to sit on the little balcony up there. Hi, sweetie. Before I left, my niece put this in my pocket. It is a grandma that has been chewed up by a dog, probably my childhood dog, because this was definitely ours when I was a kid. And she also gave me a gummy, which my sister has just messaged me to inform uh, me was a sleepy time gummy. So my, uh, my five-year-old niece dosed me before I left the house. So I'm getting very tired, so I just need to do the dishes, finish my chores, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a story. I can't believe she did this to me. This, by the way, is a O'Doul's non-alcoholic beer. This is like the cheapo non-alcoholic beer. It's not even 10 o'clock yet and I am fully in bed, ready to go to sleep. So this is a story I wanted to tell from earlier. So I might as well just get this in and then I'm going right to bed. Um, so early this morning, like 10 a.m., so my building has a group chat on Telegram that we put together during the George Floyd riots, uh, just as like a safety measure. And, uh, you know, because I've explained this in other videos, but basically we needed to form a fire brigade and we needed to watch out for the cops and the white supremacists and everything. Um, so we have this group chat for the whole building. And early this morning, a uh, neighbor of mine uh, posted that there was a homeless woman who had gotten into the building and was in one of the hallways and had, you know, her whole card up there and like everything was all spread out and they didn't know what to do. Right. And, um, that the maintenance guy had said, just call the cops, but like nobody in this building would do that. Like the cops are not uh, popular in Minneapolis in general, and like, especially not in this building. 
So th this woman was in the hallway like all almost all day. She was there until at least four, four thirty, something like that, right? And nobody called the police. And um, and it's like no, you know, there's like no instruction not to call the police either. Just so that wouldn't happen here. And uh, two of my neighbors. Uh, so there was a lady who informed us. Then one of my neighbors went out and like sat with this woman and like tried to help her you know, get her stuff and, like, uh, to call around to different homeless outreach programs in the area, and she called, like, she tried for an hour and, like, couldn't get a hold of anyone, and she was like, I'm so exhausted after just an hour of this, I can't imagine how people experiencing homelessness must, like, feel, af you know, trying to get resources like this, and so she was like, I, you know, I'm, this is all I can give right now. I'm going back to my apartment. And then another one of my neighbors came out and like sat with this woman and was also trying to do outreach and like find someone who could come and help her. Um, eventually the maintenance man called the police himself. And so, uh, you know, she, the girl who was with her was like, okay, everybody, I guess the cops are coming. Like, uh, I'm trying to help this lady get her stuff back together. It's like, if anybody has any uh, dry socks, that would be really helpful. And so I went down and I gave this woman my last two pair of clean socks and a little bit of money. And, um, you know, she was, and, and when she, I saw her, she was like saying how, oh, you guys are angels. You Thank you, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, imagine how differently that scenario would have been if, like, we had just called the cops right away and or and or just, like, been mean to her and just kicked her out back onto the street, you know? And so the cops did show up, but just as the cops showed up, some social workers showed up at the same time. This final girl who was helping her managed to get a hold of someone we know in the neighborhood who works with an outreach program. And so the, the social workers showed up at the same time and the lady went with the social workers. And I just think that this is just a great example of what like an organized community can do. And um, I think that, you know, if you th think about it, like if we had called the cops, where would that lady be right now? She would either be in jail for trespassing or she would be back out on the street right now. And instead she's with the help that she needs. And I thought that that was um, a good story. So have a wonderful evening, everybody, or day, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you tomorrow.